8.33 right now in this morning's Farmer's Market Find takes us to Tally's Bagels, which have a taste from the East Coast. Well, I can't wait. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Kaka'ako with the tasty details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Ross. Oh, yes, this is the perfect way to start breakfast off. And here, join us on take two for this week's Farmer's Market Find. We have Talia and Kelly. Good morning, ladies. How's it going? Going good. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yes, we're happy to have you all for this week's Farmer's Market Find. And, the fir and first of all, where is it that people can find you to try these delicious uh, New York-style bagels? So you can get our mini bagels and schmear every Saturday at the Kaka'ako Farmer's Market and every Sunday at the Kailua. A town farmers market from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. We also do some different pop-ups, and so this upcoming Tuesday we will be at the Ala Moana Nordstrom from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. There you go. Get a bite while you shop. And as far as the experience has been going for you all, how fun is it to just be a part of the farmers market culture and introducing these New York style bagels and different smears? It's been amazing. It, it's gone even better than we could have imagined. It's been really nice to meet all the different people who have come to try our bagels, tourists, and lots of locals from the island, as well as getting to know some of the different vendors who we work with at the farmer's market and actually in the kitchens, too. And I've never been to New York, so you got to tell me, what kind of taste do these New York-style bagels have? What's the process behind it? What makes them stand out? Yeah, so New York is the hub and the center of bagels in America. This is where bagels first came to America through Jewish immigrants coming in from Eastern Europe. And a New York style bagel is going to have a nice crispness on the outside and nice and chewy and soft on the inside. The key to what we do is boiling our bagel. So all of our bagels are going to be hand rolled, made from scratch. And then right before the markets, we boil all of the bagels and then bake them. Wow, there's a lot of work behind it. And I got to say, you know, any bagel is good, but the size that we're seeing is perfect because sometimes you just want to try a variety and you just want something small to kind of fill your stomach. Exactly, and that's why these are really perfect. We also sell one of our most popular menu items is the bagel flight. So that comes with three bagels and three schmears, so you can try a little bit of everything. It's also really perfect for the farmer's market or for when you're shopping because you can have just a little bite and be able to try other things from other vendors as well. I also like the dozen options too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Lots of people come by and pick up their bagels for the week. And so a dozen bagels might feed, you know, you and your family for breakfast for that entire week. And our schmears we sell separately too. So you can pick up a container of schmear and keep it in the fridge and then you'll be fed for the week. Now, looking at these different smears here, you got to tell us in your own words the definition of smear, but I noticed the different colors, the different textures, all of them look great. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, everything that we make here is completely from scratch. And a schmear, schmear is actually uh, a Yiddish word for cream cheese or basically anything that you can put on top of a bagel. And so because we are a Jewish business, we really wanted to incorporate sort of the authentic words for these, for these different things that we sell. And so here we have all of our uh, homemade schmears. We have our ube schmear, smoked whitefish salad, Ooh. lemon dill schmear, this is our mashuga, which is house-made cream cheese with habaneros, bell peppers, and garlic chives. Mm. Everything schmear and halpia schmear. These over here are vegan. And then we have our tahina egg salad. Our classic cream cheese, which is just whipped with some local Hawaiian salt and some other secret ingredients. And our lomi lox schmear, which is probably our number one seller, which is our cured and smoked salmon that we mix and do lomi style with tomatoes, green onions, and white onions. Oh my gosh, beautifully well said. And I know that these schmears are just so popular alone that people even get small containers to take with them because I'm sure they want to pair it up with other items besides bagels too. Exactly. We've seen a lot of customers have been really creative. Uh, during Super Bowl, people were using them as dips with whatever chips or, or breads they had at home. Veggies. Yeah, veggies, yeah. exactly. And people have even made charcuterie boards where they're featuring um, our tali schmears with their veggies, with their crackers, with their meats and cheeses. So it's really versatile and a lot of different flavors that people can enjoy. And speaking of the flavors, I noticed some are more traditional, but there's a lot of locally inspired schmears too. And I think that, that kind of takes a lot of work to kind of put together. How do you all create new flavors? 
It's a lot of trial and error. Um, we like to, like you said, we, we start with a lot of traditional bases. So, I mean, using the cream cheese, making an egg salad and a smoked white fish salad. These are things uh, at the corner store that you're going to see at every bagel shop in Delhi in New York. But it was really important to us also to uh, add some local flavors. Kelly was born and raised on Oahu and is Filipino. And so we have incorporated ube as one of our number one schmears. And then, like you said, the uh, lomi salmon and haupia as well. Awesome. Well, these look delicious. You all are doing such a great job when it comes to these bagels and these different smears. As far as um, what is next after these farmers markets, do you want to share like the long term goal? Because you're so far away from home over from New York. What, what is it that they that work? Excuse me. What is it that we can expect next from you all? Yeah, so, you know, the only um, Jewish bagel shop on the island did close down a few months ago, and so we are hoping eventually to be able to fill that void here on the island. And actually starting next month, starting in April, our bagels will also be available for sort of a weekly pickup on Wednesdays over at Hana Kitchens, which is the kitchen that we work out of. That is uh, right in downtown in Harbor Court, and so you'll be able to come and pick up our bagels during the week as well to get your stock for the office, for the meeting, or for your family. Kelly, Talia, congratula congratulations on all the success, and we can't wait to see what's next. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if you want to find Tali's bagels and smears, definitely check out the different farmers market that they participate in, as well as other vendors that we've been covering over a year at this point. It's been so beautiful to see the success, uh, the success and we can't just wait to show you what next week's is. Reporting out here in Kakako, Dallas and Rose, K22 News, working for Hawaii. Oh, looks good. Thank you so much, Dallas. Coming up next, a girl from Waianae is up for a national honor, and she's only eight years old. Eight. Emma Earn will be joining.